Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros, and today we're going to be upgrading this 10-year-old gaming PC. Yes, this thing is 10 years old. Well, not everything, but the processor is most definitely 10 years old, and we're going to be upgrading it to the latest and greatest Ryzen 5 1600 AF. But before we get into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by us and our two new YouTube channels, Toasty Clips and Toasty DIY. Toasty Clips brings you highlights from our morning stream that we do over on twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros, where we discuss tech news and other PC hardware, while Toasty DIY is our brand new variety channel that focuses on car content, tutorials, and eventually some behind the scenes vlogs just to spice things up a little bit. If you're interested in seeing some more content from the Toasty Bros, please subscribe to those channels by clicking the link in the description down below. Now, how will we get back into the video, shall we? So this PC was brought to us by a friend. This has an Intel i5-2500K, second gen, and it's, it's overclockable, but we did realize that we don't even think it's on an overclockable board, and also the stock cooler is uh, a stock cooler, and it's Intel. Um, we have an automatic of RAM, 10 gigs. It's very slow. It's like 1333. We have a two terabyte, get this, Western Digital Purple drive. So it's 5400 RPM. That's it, no SSD or anything. Um, all housed inside of this DIY case with a 1060. So the 1060 in the case, good. But then we're gonna upgrade these other parts to make them better. So let's go ahead and talk about each part that we're gonna be doing for the upgrade and then kind of dive into doing this uh, system upgrade. So the obvious things that we see here with this PC, we know it's an i5-2500K. Look at all the dust inside the heatsink. No clue what the thermal paste looks like. This thing was probably thermal throttling and probably was not boosting as it should. Not to mention it wasn't even overclocked, so what's the point of having the K? We have it inside of this really weird DIY PC case with this, uh, yeah, with this going on. And on top of that, the way that it plugs in is uh, USB via through the back. I don't even actually know how they got it through there. But yeah, so that's gonna have to go. We're gonna put some nice RGB in it. We're gonna have to get rid of this RAM. We have 10 gigs of DDR3 that's running at 1333, very odd amount. It's three slots, so we're gonna make sure that we're just running some good old dual channel. Um, we have the 1063 gig, which we're gonna be keeping because that's honestly a good card and the card's being held back by this processor and uh, motherboard RAM configuration. We have a two terabyte Western Digital Purple drive, which I'll show you guys in case you've never seen one of those. It's, uh, it has, it's purple on it, and it's for surveillance. <laughs> it's for surveillance systems. It even says in the listing for old surveillance systems. So, yeah, that, uh, that needs a uh, SSD, which Matt will talk about in a minute. And then we have a 750-watt power supply from, I'm going to turn it around again. I don't know why I did this too soon. From a company that I've never heard of. Um, my PC? Is that right? My Me, me PC? Me PC my yeah, it's like 750 watts. It's really weird. It doesn't appear to be certified, but I mean, it has kind of sleeved cables, so it's not the cheapest power supply we've seen. So f as far as the upgrade goes, it'll work. Um, and Matt's gonna go ahead and talk about what parts we're upgrading with to make this PC amazing. Here's the stuff. Boom, there we go. All right, so what we have right here, guys, is a Ryzen 5 1600 AF. Now, for those of you who know, this is basically a Ryzen 5 2600, but you can get it for 85 bucks. Uh, six cores, 12 threads will be a great upgrade from this little 2500K that this guy was using, who uses just four cores nowadays in a gaming PC. This is gonna be a great upgrade. And to house this 1600 AF, we have the Gigabyte B450M DS3H. This is a micro ATX motherboard that we've used numerous times. It does have four RAM slots, so it's great for upgradability. And speaking of RAM, we have this Corsair Vengeance LPX kit, uh, 3000 megahertz, uh, 16 gigs of memory. Uh, this is gonna be great to get them off the ground and running but again as we mentioned he's running dual channel Ryzen perfect but he also has those two slots to upgrade in the future if he wants to so the system has a lot of room to grow with him when he wants to upgrade it doesn't come with flashy RGBs but it does come in at a great price point so that's a good compromise to make and lastly, of course, we have to throw an SSD in this build. This hard drive, 5,200 RPMs. Uh, the guy who brought it in basically said he was waiting like numerous minutes for the system to post. So adding an SSD and giving him like sub 20 second posts would be really awesome. And this silicon power SSD is 15 times faster than a 5,400 RPM hard drive. Look at that, it says it right there. That is absolutely perfect for this scenario. Uh, so we're gonna throw it in there. Uh, 512 is more than enough to do base applications and you can still use that two terabyte hard drive for other games that he wants to load up and not have to worry about super slow loading times. So, you know, I'm very excited to put this thing together. Let's clean this up first because it's kind of a mess and then we're gonna be upgrading this to an awesome gaming PC.
All right, we have this thing all taken apart. What we're gonna do next is use our lovely air compressor to just kind of clean up all this random dust that's here. Um, and we're probably gonna clean off the graphics card too. Here's this 1060, which looks relatively nice. I mean, I can't really complain. It looks nice, good card, 1063 gig. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and clean this case up, make her look nice and new, and then we're gonna start building this thing. Right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we've upgraded this computer, let's talk about those benchmarks real quick, shall we? Now, we only tested a couple games, Fortnite, Rainbow Six Siege, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare, because, well, this is just kind of a modest upgrade, and we just wanted to show you what kind of performance numbers you can get from going with a system like this. Now, before, you really weren't getting really good performance. Uh, you were having issues with that hard drive being the main boot drive, which is never a good idea in 2020, and then you were having some issues with just stability with the system overall, with something like a 2500K. Well, with the 1600 AF being readily available, six cores, 12 threads for 85 bucks, we were easily able to run through games like Call of Duty Modern Warfare on lower-ish settings. The 1063 gig is the bottleneck in this situation. Three gigs of VRAM on some of these games is kind of limiting. You might want to opt for something like a 1070 used if you want to go used or if you want to go new and do something similar. Maybe look somewhere like the 1660 Super as like a minimum card if you plan on playing Call of Duty regularly. But regardless, we were getting well over 60 FPS on lower settings at 1080p in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It was definitely more than playable with those optimized settings. And the same thing goes for Fortnite. Fortnite was more than playable. Being an esports title, you're really not gonna have too much trouble running Fortnite nowadays. The system would work really well for games like Valorant as well if you look to build something similar or upgrade your PC to something similar. Um, and the same thing goes for Rainbow Six Siege. You really had no issue whatsoever running the built-in benchmark, close to 100 FPS at times with optimized settings. Um, and ideally, this could be a good platform change. If you're somebody rocking an older Intel system or even an older AMD system, let's say you're on like the FX platform, buying something like a B450 board with the 1600 AF and DDR4 RAM for roughly $300 makes for a really awesome upgrade for even an older system that may have a still a decent GPU, like a 1060 or below. Um, this could be a good upgrade for you to get yourself on a good platform to be able to upgrade in the future and make your system quote unquote more future proof. So overall, very impressed with this upgrade. Didn't expect anything less from the 1600 AF and this configuration. How about we go ahead and bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, so this is not quite the normal, uh, you know, this was a good PC for the price because, well, we don't really know how much you paid for it in the first place, but we do know that for a $300 upgrade from what it was before, this is a very, very big step up. And as you can tell, we didn't dive into the benchmarking all that much because we've benchmarked systems like this numerous times here on the channel. The 1600 AF is a great option for those coming from an older platform and wants to get in at a really affordable price point. So definitely, if you are considering upgrading your old PC or just building a new computer for around 500 bucks, links in the description down below. Those are affiliate links. If you do purchase using those links, they do support the channel. So we do love you for doing that. But overall, very impressed with this computer. 
So before I tell you guys to have a good day and like, comment, and subscribe, if you don't mind, follow us over on twitch.tv slash toastybros. We do live streams of us building stuff like this. We help you guys pick out parts. We do all kinds of cool stuff live streaming there. Also, we have two other channels that you're going to see here. We have Toasty DIY and Toasty Clips. Toasty Clips involves the Twitch streams. Toasty DIY is basically a whole new channel that we just do all kinds of crazy DIY stuff that you guys will probably really love. So we highly recommend going and checking it out and dropping a sub. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one on our numerous channels. Goodbye.